Hi everybody, it's Deb from DD Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm going to do a dirty cup pour on, but I'm going to be using the Bloom um, Technique um, ingredients on that. So I'll go over all my paints. My base coat is a layer of Easy Care Ultra Premium uh, wall paint. And to that, I added a squirt of GAC 800 and about three drops of water just to uh, thin it out a little bit. My cell activator is Montmartre Lamp Black. And to that, I added, um, I used an ounce of Flotro Flotrol. No, excuse me. I used three parts Floetrol to one part paint, and I added about three drops of the um, Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner with that. And I am using all Montmartre paints today. So let's go over those, and I'm using Deep, deep Cyan Blue. Yellow Mild, Vermilion, Monastro Green, Phalo Green, and the last one is Viridian. Okay, now, the pouring medium for my paints was um, two parts of the ultra deep base to one part of the polycrylic, and I mixed that up. I started out with just an ounce of the pouring medium to about a teaspoon of the paint. And, let's, and then I did add about three drops of water to that. So let's go over consistency here. It does leave a little trace. You can see that, but then it disappears after about a second. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be doing a dirty cup pour and see if we get some of the lacing with the bloom effect or not. So let's just, I'm just gonna put my cup right here in the middle. And so I'll start out with my cell activator, the black, because that will be the last to come out of the cup. And I think I'll get about two, two layers here today. A good two layers of each of the colors. I did not add silicone today. And I hope everyone's doing well today. And now I will put the balance of that cell activator on because I'm about ready to put the second layer of my paints in. This is an experiment for me. Just doing a dirty cup pour. See if we get any reaction from all the bloom ingredients that I've put in here. 
And I will list all of those ingredients in the description. And an artist that uses a lot of the Montmartre paints is Jilly Q. She's in Australia. But I did get this set of uh, Montmartre paints in the U.S. online. They are very nice paints, very creamy, easy to work with. Just a couple more here. And I do hope all these colors play well together. just the yellow and that would be it. Okay. And I think I am going to put just a little bit of my base coat on a puddle in the middle here to help the paint move. And I'm planning on tipping the paint today, but if need be, I can blow it out a little bit. Just depending on the results that I get from the pour. So I'm just going to start pouring from up high, see what we get. Just turning the cup a little bit here. Okay, and I'm not going to um, torch this. I'm just going to start tipping. And I do have plenty of paint. And this paint is a little bit on the thicker side, so it, it is moving slower. Okay, just going to take a look at it now. Just going to finger pop my sides here where needed. I 
I did get some very interesting cloudy effects here with this. And I am going to try tipping down again, run some more paint off. Very moving very slow here. Okay. I'm just going to take a look at it here a minute. And I am going to torch it very carefully because I did use the house paint. I have to be kind of careful. You can see the white cells coming up. Some black cells coming up. And I'm not sure what I want to do quite yet. To the, I do want to do more to this painting, but I just, I could try, try using my blow dryer on it. Just to see what would happen. And why don't I give that a try? I think I will use my very small the smallest one I have here. See if I can move any of the paint. You can see the white underneath coming through. I think there's a lot of paint that could be moved. And I think I'm going to use my big blow dryer just to see what we can get here. I'm just going to uh, turn this a little bit. Just to help me with the blow dryer here to get to everything. fantastic so far I'm going to keep going on it and I'm just blowing it out from one edge here one edge out
going to tip it just a little more here or turn it. I will use my air compressor just a little bit here and there but I'm, I'm very happy with the results of this just to fine-tune this painting a little bit here Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it turned out beautiful. And I think that would be the orientation of it, this being the bottom and this being the top. And you can see the difference where this, this blew out more and is all uh, more wispy, but this has many layers and I, I really like that. So I think I will give it another torch and then we'll get you down for a close up. Okay, here we are for a close-up and I did turn it again the orientation so here is the full flower I just think it's beautiful and I'll go over the whole thing this is the upper left hand corner you can see a lot of the greens the black and the white I didn't really get a lot of the yellow or the um, other lighter colors a little bit of the yellow there but I just think this turned out great 
Here's a little yellow and white there. That is pretty. And then this is the lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you up the middle here. I just love, love the results of this painting and the whimsical, wispy look up here with that black. And here's the upper right-hand corner. And then just coming down the right-hand side. And this is actually the corner where the, uh, the flower starts. And again, I'll, there's the whole thing. Very pretty. I really like this area right in here. Okay, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all. And I, I've i been watching a lot of artists that say, try it again to make sure that you are subscribed, that um, YouTube has been dropping some sub subscriptions without uh, knowledge. So check your subscription. Um, Make sure that you still are subscribed to me if you are. And if you're not, would you please consider it? That would be great. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.